All right, Kels, we are really kind of at the point where this is an any day type of scenario, yeah? Yeah. This baby could come <laughs> at any time. This baby's also moving like crazy right now. Yeah. Ooh. How are you feeling? How are you feeling about everything? Um, I feel like I'm a therapist right now. <laughs> Have a seat in the chair. Would you lie down? Yeah. No, the, the baby's just moving. So, all right, first, I do want to say, technically... My doctor has my due date as August 7th because the baby was measuring just a little bit behind. So she pushed me back. My original due date was August 2nd, which is a week from yesterday. So six days, that's insane to me. And I know, I know exactly when my period was. I know exactly when we conceived because we were trying. So I was tracking everything. So yeah, technically I'm 39 weeks. Yeah, but I mean, at this point, like 38, 39, it's still any day now. I know, I know, I know. Okay, so I, I'm i very nervous, I'm not going to lie. I, I feel like, especially the last couple days, I don't know if I'm just extra hormonal. <laughs> I don't know. I just, I feel like <sighs> it's, it's kind of hard to explain, but like, yeah, I'm, I'm really nervous. I'm really nervous and not so much just about the birth and labor necessarily. I mean, I am a little nervous about that because I have no idea what that's going to be like or what to expect. But truthfully, I'm more nervous just about how everything's about to change. Yeah. Like, you know, it's, it's always just been the two of us. And especially before I even met you, like I'm 37 years old. I've, I've had <laughs> my entire adult life just, total freedom, total independence. And I'm not even just talking about travel, like just in my life. And, yeah. and I know that's about to change. What well, is tough to think about like a brand new addition yeah. to our lives, like to the yeah. household, to everything. And I don't feel, I don't feel prepared. Yeah. Like, I don't know. It's, it's one of those things. It's like, how do you prepare for something that you just can't really prepare for? I right. don't know. This is round one for us. We've never had, I mean, neither of us have a kid, so. I know. It's like the little things, like when the baby cries, you know, what, what do I do with it? <laughs> How know. do you know why it's crying? I don't That's know. Anything. There's no like, uh, there's no signaling, you know. I know. I just, I feel, I feel very nervous. I am very excited, so don't. Oh yeah, we're both excited. Very, very. And we tried for this baby. We tried to get pregnant. It took us over a year. So we're very excited. We're very grateful and all the things. But yeah, I just, I don't know. I just want to be real with you guys because these emotions that I've been feeling, especially the last couple of days, because it's yeah. like... The closer it gets, really kind of since the last um, uh, doctor's appointment. Yeah, really I don't know. Really realizing like... It's, it's any day now. It's really starting could, to set in. It could be today. Don't, no, 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 I'm not ready. <laughs> I'm not ready. I am mentally preparing for next week. Like the first few days of August, for whatever yeah. reason, stand out to me, especially August 3rd. Well, we, we're really hoping for, for an August birthday. So <laughs> I don't even know why. That's kind of pushing us that way. I read the horoscopes on Leo's and the difference between July Leos and August Leos, and I just feel like an August Leo would compliment me yeah. and Cody better. Oh, sure. Enough about me, though. Oh, okay. Your turn. How are you feeling, Dad? Um, I feel pretty good, I think, like overall, but I am also very nervous, and for the same reasons as, as Kelly said. Like, I don't want to echo her, because uh, you just listened to her, but... I think for me, to be honest, it's my, the thing I struggle with the most is realizing I don't have to think of all of this as one thing. Like I don't have what to do think, like I don't, I don't have to look at the next 20 years of being a parent. I only have to look at the next, you know, week or the next two weeks. So are you saying month. that you have been looking at this like the next 20 years of yeah, being a parent? Yeah, sometimes. Well, you think about all the things that come up, right? And you remember like being a kid and interactions that you had with your parents or, you know, that I had with my parents. And I, I find myself sometimes like, I find myself like 
feeling overwhelmed sometimes because I'm thinking about too many things. I'm okay. worrying about, you know, how to how to handle a baby, how to how to know when something's wrong. I'm worried about changing diapers all the time. I'm worried I, about that too. And then I'm worried about like first day of school. And then I'm worried about like doctor's appointments <laughs> and dentist appointments. And then I'm worried about sports. And then I'm worried about driving. And then I'm worried about college. And then I'm worried about bullies and in school and stuff. And I, I just yeah, you have a while to you know that does that stuff make sense comes. though? Like I think about all of that, and then I have to remind myself. I don't need to think about all that stuff right now. Yeah. I don't need to think about anything really past, let's just say a couple months from now, realistically. So I think that's been like a hard thing for me is I let myself get overwhelmed and that makes me feel more nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I, I don't know if that's relatable or not, but I've just never done this before. So I have a lot of nervousness about like balance and you know, our, the job that we do, the work that we do, we can get called on and things need to happen, you know, like now. You know, how is that gonna work with, you know, having to, to work around having a baby as well, having that, having that correct balance. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. So, I don't know, <laughs> but, I, but I am also extremely excited. I'm very much looking forward to it. I think it's gonna be an incredible experience. I, I, I think I'm just going to absolutely love being a dad. I think we're both gonna be incredible parents. Me too. I'm, I'm really Me too. I, I am I am genuinely Aww. like truthfully very, very excited about it. I've been excited about it from the start. Yeah. Me too. Um way more excited than I am nervous. But I feel like it's a normal nervousness, right? Like I can't be I can't be alone. No. Right? One of you watching this knows. <laughs> knows exactly how I feel right now. You know, it's just a... Uh, more than anything, I just, I want to do it right. So there's like a nervousness or responsibility that comes with that. I don't take it lightly, so, you yeah. know. What do you think, Kelsey? <laughs> anything else you want to say? <laughs> I don't know. I, uh, I don't know. I, I feel like I've just been, I've been all over the place lately, the past couple days. Well, I feel sure. like that's because it is coming close. Yeah. Right? Is it normal to have like, like hormone changes like toward the end? Like toward the end? Your whole pregnancy is yeah. filled with hormone changes. I don't know if there's an increase necessarily. Probably. I don't know. Well, you've also been much more uncomfortable lately, which has yeah. meant you have well, more sleeping then, as well. And yeah, I, I think yeah. it's just a lot of everything. But <sighs> yeah, I don't know. I huh, I've cried a few times over the past few days just thinking about like. I don't know. I, just, it, it's just, it's such an emotional time and I guess my tears, they come and go. <laughs> they yeah. come and go, but I'm just, I'm just nervous. I yeah. really am. But equally excited, it's like the weirdest thing. Right. And I, and honestly, what I will say is I think being nervous is a good thing. Yes. But you know, I said this in our Q&A that we did. When I left to travel and I left my job and all the security that I had and everything, that was that was up, up until now. <laughs> that was probably the scariest thing I've ever done. And I didn't know if I was making the right decision and I didn't know if I would have anything to come home to and it was so scary. But I did it and I I'm so glad that I did it because it turned out to be hands down the best thing I've ever done. So I yeah. know that this will probably be the same. Like yeah. it has to be. <laughs> uh, it's, it, it's going it to will be. be. I know it is. It will be. But yeah, I we are very excited. I think I'm most excited to find out if this little one that's been keeping me up at night is a boy or a girl. What's something that you're really excited about for when the baby's already here? Like for me, I'll, I'll go first, as, as, just to give you an example of what I'm, what I'm getting at here. I'm really excited to take baby photos. Oh, me too. Hands, like I have folders of baby photos <laughs> yeah. just ready to go for inspiration. What about you? So, okay, so what's, what's something that you are excited about, aside from baby photos? Definitely the baby photos, just because we're both photographers and I love it so much. But um, no, I mean, I'm, I'm really excited for all of those first that you hear about from like family and friends that oh, say, sure. like, 
you know, the baby's first words, the baby's first steps. I think that's yep. just first time visiting <laughs> like a zoo or or something a like zoo. that. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, we're going to Thailand. <laughs> no, that is true. That is true. <laughs> that is true. First time experiencing that travel or experiencing ice cream or yeah, watching Frozen with me. Just I don't know. I I I really think more of the small moments are yeah. really exciting me because. I, for example, sometimes I'll walk into the living room and I'll see the little bouncer that we have put together and I can just envision our baby there and yeah. we're just watching a movie and our little baby's with us and especially yep. when they get to that fun toddler age and they're talking and... Yeah, so this was I, actually, this was out in our living room. Yeah. Uh, and when I woke up this morning, I came out and saw it and just immediately felt like this like warm I don't know loving sensation it was just yeah. so cute to see and I was like this is gonna be really cool yeah yeah but yeah, but yeah just I don't know the last minute jitters are really yep. kicking in and well I've I have felt very emotional lately yeah and hormonal <laughs> well we will definitely you know keep you guys in the loop and keep you updated it really is any day now so still no no real signs of labor though yeah but that can happen like that, but like, yeah, true. you know, the true, things true. that you hear about leading up to labor, I haven't right. really experienced anything, so yep. I don't know. So <laughs> actually, Kels, if you'll just take this for a second. Um, okay, guys, so it's coming up very soon. Stay tuned. We will keep you updated as best as we can. If you are finding us on YouTube now for the first time, please hop over to Instagram. You can find us there as Pause of Travel Tea. We're doing a lot of like content and stuff there about this too. We'd love to have you guys on board. Please subscribe if you're not already and uh, be ready because any day now. Yep. Any and we're, day now. we're also sharing our birth story. Yes. On yeah. this platform. So, Ooh, okay. Let's right, do guys. this. We'll talk soon.